Hello and welcome to the Gaming Chronicles. Today we will continue Might and Magic 3, Isles of Terra. So let's uh, get it fired up and do all the things. Alright, I did do bag management uh, between episodes, so that's done. Uh, there were a few upgrades, a few switch switcheroos with the gear. Uh, let's see here. Um, I did, uh, whatever, no one cares. Uh, <laughs> we're just going in. Uh, going into the dra dra dragon cavern. Uh, <laughs> okay. Alright, Draconi, uh, the dragon foot soldiers, um... Heed my humble warning first. These walls for living blood do thirst. Okay, we know. We know. Um, Alright, so these acid pools. Oh, let's look at Korax notes. Nestled deep in the mutant mountains, Dragon Cavern provides the perfect shelter for the riches amassed by the Dragon Lord and his servants. The towering mounds of treasure are heavily guarded by Draconi warriors. Is it Draconi or Draconi? No one probably cares about that either. Draconi is how we're going to say it. And the dung that litters the floor provides a natural defense against greedy adventurers. Tempting though it may be to still Dragon Lord's tremendous personal horde, all who have faced him have perished from his magic breath. Well, that will not dissuade us. Because we are super buffed. Alrighty, these pools, they give 50 gems the first time you step in them. And since, of course, uh, our resistances are buffed up, um, we'll be res we should be able to resist it completely. And what else about resistances here? I think that's all for now. Um, let's go ahead and just do an outline of the of the room. Hello. Okay, yeah, you're the one that we just talked to. Thank you for the gems. Um, man, it's been a long time since we've uh, deposited money in the bank. Okay. Uh. Ooh, we got hit twice. <clears throat> Alright, more Draconi warriors. What does this guy have to say? Beyond this point will lie your doom. These grounds shall be your burial tomb. Apparently the Dragon Lord likes to rhyme. Um, is there a... Okay, never mind. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's right. I... Oh! Man, that guy scared me. Okay, it's just a green dragon. So let's just get a quick look at the uh, at the enemies, right? <clears throat> so Draconi we know as the foot soldiers of the dragon kin, but the green dragons are typically formidable, right? Uh, where are they? Okay. Oh, their little thing disappeared. So green dragons are the second highest on the dragon chain, second only to the dragon lord. Uh, they are very resistant to cold and electricity. And then let's just go ahead and look at the Dragon Lord, since we'll be meeting the Dragon Lord soon. Look at that, 10,000 HP. Just keep that in mind, 10,000 HP. 10 million experience. 75 AC, speed 150. One attacks for 1,000 damage each. And yeah, it's and it's energy breath. Um, Dragon Lord is the mightiest of all creatures in Terra, highly resistant to all elements. Its great bulk makes tedious work of battle, but the reward in gold is worth it. I can't remember how much gold it is. Anyway, we're gonna one shot green dragons. Uh, how many hit points did they have again? They've got 800 HP, and yeah, we're one shotting them. No big o dealo. <laughs> Turn back before you're through, or dragon's teeth on you shall chew. That's clever. 
Oh, these poor little lizards. Where are you go? Okay, I was gonna say, I know you. Here's somewhere. Now you've done it, gone too deep. Your bones will lie in a rotting heap. Alright, there we go. There's a green dragon. Ouch. Yeah, their cold breath won't really do much to us. Uh, dang, that's a lot of golden gems. Um, that was also a double hit. It's just, uh... Hello. Don't mind me, I'm just here to take all of your gold. And we uh, just happen to enjoy walking through poison pools. Because there's gems in them. There we go. We didn't pass any piles of money, did we? Money, money, money! Give me that money! Sounds like my three-year-old daughter. Alright. <clears throat> okay. Bye-bye. Mr. Dragon, or Miss Dragon. Maybe Mrs. Alright. Uh, more pools with gems in them. Yep. We already talked to you. Alright, bash that open. Oh man. One shot him. Five east. Okay, I think... Is it... Yeah, so here's a secret room. Similar to the other one. So we've already been here, right? At the very beginning, we did the Domeister password in the Magic Mirror, and it took us to that little secret room. Well, this is the cavern, right? And so now, we're in another secret room. And that gave us a nice uh, one or five million. Goodbye. And if this frost breath, another thing of note here, if that frost breath was uh, actually hitting us, damaging us. Okay, and by in the way, these uh, these things that we're sitting on the wall, like six six west, one north, five east. I truly don't remember what those clues mean. And there's there's nothing. Hold on, where is my? I didn't get my notes out. Oh no, I'm not prepared. Oh, that's a surprise, huh? Yeah, not really. Uh, let's see. That's our... That's the pyramids. Oh, man, so disorganized. If there was like a... You know, if I, if, if, if I had decided to, you know, invest in setting it up so that I had like the camera on and you could see my desk area, it would just be disastrous with so many papers. Anyway, um... Yeah, I don't, I don't understand what these, uh, hold on, there is a room over here, um, that you teleport six west on there, but the, the one that says one north, I, I don't, oh, whoops, um, is this one? No? Is it from here? Okay. But yeah, I don't know what the, the one north means, because I'm looking at the map on, you know, I print out, and I don't know where you would go one north anywhere. Like, th that would be a... I don't know. But anyway, this, the the 5 east and the 6 west, those do refer to, like, these, these rooms um, that we just went to. But yeah, 2 north? Like, what does that even mean? Um, does that mean it's... Two north up here, and then six west? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're coming down here. I think this is the room with the dragon lord. Or is it the middle one? I don't know. We'll find out shortly. 
Hey, look, a king's ultimate power orb. There's that dragon lord. You know, he... Ouch. I don't know. It, it, it looks kind of weird. Just saying. I mean... Is that his eye? Let's get a closer look. I mean, he's got what... what He's got, like, the two eyes here, and then he's got this red thing. For, for the longest time, I was like, is that his eye? So, I mean, that's, the, that, that's where that little thought comes from. I don't know what these, like, little yellow things are. Like, are those supposed to be his wings, or is that, like, a, 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 lus a, a lustrous mane of golden hair? Like a, like a lion? Like, what's going on? Who is this guy? Anyway, he looks mad. That we are stealing all his gold, so we're gonna have to fight him. And, uh, he's. Oh. He won't make it past the first round, though, sadly. Uh, so what was that? 1 million gold? 2 million gold? I don't know. Or 10 million gold? I don't know, but he's dead. Rip Dragon Lord. Yeah. Very anticlimactic fight. I know. Oh, that was a lot of items. Okay. Hey, look, it's a power orb. Um, plate mail of the gods. Uh, I think of the gods. I think I've mentioned that. That's uh, divine intervention. Cape of the gods. Uh, it's just like so... It's sad that it's useless. You know, we don't need it. Yeah, get rid of it. Let's just discard it. Yeah, exacto scimitar. Belt of the Gods. Man! That's cool, but we don't need it. Cyro Cutlass? Nah. Another Obsidian Ring. Very nice. Um, let's see. What else do we... Ooh, a Kinetic Ring. Nice! Um, ring of Holy Words. Yeah, we don't need that. Holy Ring. That's nice. We can give the Holy Ring to Resurrecta, and then she can have a better offhand. Because the only reason why we have this shield is so that she gets... is so that she is at 250 for personality, to put her at ultimate. But that Holy Ring will put her way over. Alright, we got some cool stuff, but, uh... Huh. Yep, don't need that. Okay, anyway, let's get out of here. At least this part of the dungeon. Alright, there's another power orb. Yep, take it. Okay, so the Dragon Lord's dead. Now, we'll just, uh, finish off the dungeon. What time is it? 10.49 a.m.? Not even noon. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, we know. We know. Here come the Draconi. Little do they know that the... Their lord has been slain. There we go. Yep, take it. Nice. So, normally, uh, the green dragons and the, uh, the, the dragon lord, especially, of course, you know, obviously, um, they're, they're, they're tough fights. Um, you know, that goes without saying. Uh, that, that magic breath is very, very unkind. Uh, as, and as you can see, I think that that's the only thing that really damaged us much warning backpack is full oh did that have items in it 
Okay. Uh, I guess we can get stop start dropping all of our gold items. Since uh, we don't need those. But I didn't think any of the... Where? Okay, never mind. I didn't think any of the poison pools contained items. Oh, and uh, going back to the, you know, uh, switching mental lanes, the artifacts of like good, evil, and neutral. Um, okay, we already got that one. Um, we did find all of them. So there are 11 good, 11 evil, and 15 neutral. Not sure why there's more neutral than good, but there are. Run away with all your haste or be reduced to a bloody paste. I'm not so sure it is moi that is being reduced to a bloody paste. Hey, at least wait until I get out of the poison pool to fight me. Come on now. Oh, good. I saw a dragon. Oh. Wand of realization. Yeah, let's discard that. Let's just discard that. Gold leather armor, get rid of that. Let's drop our platinum shield. Gold cape, gold scale armor. Ruby ring, that's nice. Photon broadsword, that's cool. It's a little sad discarding diamond gear and just obsidian gear and end game gear. Okay, yeah, we want to disc uh, or equip the holy ring. Yeah, that takes our personality way up. Um, obsidian horn, nice. That's what we want. Remove that and then equip that. Very nice. Personality still way up there. AC is now higher. Not that we actually <laughs> need to do any of this. Like we could, we could care less about any gear that we get from here on out. But we're just doing it because. Oh, um, who has the lowest energy resistance? I think everybody's in the hundreds, right? Oh, dark shade, yours is crap. Um. I think though that we need uh we probably need Resurrecta to have it. Although no, she's got pretty good energy resistance, 102. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, I'll make that decision later. We all know I'm not good at making decisions. Uh, let's see, Whistle of Holy Words? No. Okay, that's that's fine. Um, oh, hello. Let's come down here. Yeah, five east. So from here, if we go five east, does it take us to... Five east and five, like five south. I don't know what that means, right? So yeah, I mean, if you teleport, okay. Five east from here. Uh, is it from here? Uh, 
So five east and then five south. Okay, let's see if let's see if this whole time of my life I've just been interpreting these directions incorrectly. I don't know. Maybe I just haven't been paying attention well enough. One, two, three. Okay, so it's five south. Yeah, it is five south and then five east. Okay, so the directions are right. I'm just a derp. Um. Never mind. Okay. I still don't understand what the one north is. Maybe, maybe it is part of the other e equation on the, uh, the east side of the dungeon. Oh, there's a lot of green dragons here. Oh, a sabber. Yep, pick it up. Okay, uh, fantastic. All right, how many of those do we have now? Two, three, four, I think five? Nope, four. Okay. Oops. I want to see how many have we given to Tumult or not Tumult Malefactor? Four. Okay, so we'll give these four to Malefactor as well. Uh, what time of day is it? Okay, 3:02 p.m. Plenty of time. All right. I think we've hit it everywhere. Yep. Alrighty. Well, it's kind of sad how, um, I don't know, uneventful this place has been. Uh, because, you know, in my, in my memories of long ago, the, you know, that this place, uh, was very dangerous. You know, that this was like the ultimate dungeon of Might and Magic 3. Uh, you came to the Dragon Lord, uh, you know, all prepared uh, for an oh, epic fight, and and then when you find out that uh, you can just totally annihilate this place, it's like, oh, well, okay, <laughs> I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, but uh, nothing quite is like that first um, that first fight. Um, with the Dragon Lord, because you have to fight all those, you know, everything to get there. All right, we're gonna go to Baywatch. Enough of nostalgia, 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 nostalgic memories, whatever. Um, let's sell a bunch of stuff we don't need. Um. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need that. Sapphire cloak. Uh, yeah, we don't need anything less than obsidian. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Gold crossbow. That might be better than some than some people's stuff. Platinum. No. Obsidian. No. Uh, gold crossbow. No. Ruby crossbow and ruby. Cro okay. So no. Never mind. Not an upgrade. All right, platinum broadsword sell. And as you can see, this gear is pretty good, you know. Nice, a kinetic great axe. We will need this for the. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need this for the end game. Um. So we'll hold on to that. Ruby boots. Does anybody have anything less than ruby boots? Toxic boots, we want those. Velocity boots, we want those. Emerald boots. Diamond boots. Precision boots of duplication. Uh, yeah, we'll keep those. And emerald boots. 
So... Wait, where did they go? Yeah, we don't really need them. Okay. Dynacoin. Some skill armor. I'm pretty sure we don't need this anymore. Or, yeah, we don't need it because everyone already has obsidian armor on. Ooh, Cyro Gauntlets. Obsidian padded armor. Um, I think, yeah, we're gonna give that to... Uh, you, because we're not gonna fight any more army, or armies, enemies. Not even close. Enemies, armies, yeah, that's not even close. Any more enemies, or armies of enemies, that have poison damage. Obsidian Gauntlets, very nice. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and sell the precision gauntlets, and... Alright, let's give that... Where's that kinetic great axe? Yep, give that to you. Let's look at everybody's rings. Gold ring, ruby ring, platinum ring, ebony ring, obsidian ring, ruby ring, holy ring, poisonous power ring, gold ring, steel ring, let's get rid of that, Zacto ring, obsidian ring, gold ring, okay. That's good enough for now. Uh, let's put on the obsidian gauntlets. Let's give the obsidian ring to you. Yeah. Uh, you already have two rings. There we go. Oh, you have a gold- you have a ruby ring. Let's give that gold ring to... Sir Can- nope, can't give it to Can again. Alright, you have an obsidian cloak. Who doesn't have... Cold platinum robe. Let's give you that obsidian robe. Or cloak. Because I don't think we're going to deal with anything with cold damage anymore, either. We might just be able to get rid of that gold ring, actually. Yeah, let's just get rid of the gold ring. We don't need it. It's kind of sad when you can just say, Ah, oh, we don't need that extra... S what is it, 6 AC? Yeah, we don't need an extra 6 armor class. No big deal. Okay. That's kind of where we are. Oh wait, did we? Oh, idiot. Yeah, we want to equip that uh, obsidian padded armor. The kinetic ring, yeah, I don't know. Gotta give it to somebody. Yeah, let's just have her equip it, it's fine. Have our cleric have the highest energy resistance. If we successfully resist all of the Terminator's attacks or survive them, that will be amazing. Okay, uh, let's see here. We did the Dragon Cavern. Okay, we came to Baywatch because um, we're going to go to the Fountain of Youth. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so 
Here is the Fountain of Youth that uh, we've mentioned um, here and there throughout our episodes. But as we can see, we've got how many people? One. We've got Maximus and Tarlaeus. I think that uh, Lone Wolf? Yeah, you're also aged a little bit because we had to resurrect you. So everyone will be restored to our natural age. Uh, crystal clear water flows from the Fountain of Nayara. Eternal child of the great sea's depths. Drink of the fountain's water. Yep. Oh, we are so refreshed. All around you grows dark in a swirling spiral of confusion. What, did we just take an LSD trip or something? After floating aimlessly for a day, you wash ashore on the beach of Woodland Grove. <laughs> so, that uh, certainly sounds like we took some kind of a trip. Um... Not the one that is recommended by responsible adults. So, anyway, let's go back to town. Because uh, we're done for this episode. We did the Dragon Cavern, um, looted all of its gold, and the next place that we're going to go is the Maze from Hell. Yep. Okay. Uh, so actually we don't need to go back to town, yeah. Let's, uh, go to Swamp Town. And set our beacon in place. And then we'll just, uh, park right outside the Maze from Hell. And, uh, call it a day. Okay, so... It's an E. No, F. F something. F2? Nope, not this. F2. Is it an F3 or F4? F3. There we go. Alright. The entrance to the dungeon is surrounded by strange little statues of birds and insects and snakes. Enter the dungeon? No, not yet. Okay. Let's set our beacon here. And... In our next episode, we are going to do the maze from hell. And it is quite a place. And I think we're just fine. Everyone's restored to their proper age. Yay. Uh, she, so she had that that five years taken off. And they have the... There was a 20 years taken off. Um, so, alrighty. We are all in our prime. And... If you think about it, we're a bunch of 19-year-olds. Which, by the way, we don't look like we're 19. <laughs> None of us look like we're in our in our 20s or, you know, we all look like we're in our 30s or 40s as far as the profile goes. But no, we're we're all 19-year-olds, and we're gonna save the world one dungeon at a time. We have 20 million gold, over 20 million gold in our bags. <laughs> All right, we have we have been slacking so bad on going to the going to the bank. Uh, we've got about 37, 38 million dollars total, or gold total. I don't know if it'll take all of that to level everybody up, but we're gonna go up a lot of levels um, after we do the maze from hell. We'll do all, we'll, we will do our final leveling up, rebuffing. Uh, and then, uh, you know, in our, in our next ep uh, couple episodes, we'll do this one. And then uh, the last one will be the um, last part of the Golden Pyramid. So, until our next episode in Terra, so long for now.